Too, you know? And then I get to thinking about my living life and just how fun that was. Still can't sleep? No. All I get to do is just sit here and eat this chocolate. <laughs> God, the afterlife is boring. It's just silent, Mark. I mean, was all. chocolate always as sweet? Was it savory? Sour? I don't know. My mind is so blank now. Why are we in this bunker anyways? Beats me. I kind of like it here, though. Here I can roleplay as a survivor of a nuclear war, and believe it too. I really do sometimes, Mark. Then I remember, oh yeah, I'm a ghost that got stabbed during a hike. Be glad you don't remember your death, man. <laughs> Probably got hit by a truck or something. Anyway, it might be nice to stay here for a while. Angela? <laughs> Angela? <laughs> How'd you get in? <laughs> There's no door. Uh, by phasing through the walls. What? How? I'm a ghost, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what now? We might as well get comfy. Mark, Sophie, let's take things to the living room. I'll explain everything there. Come on, Sophie. <laughs> Believe me, I've been searching for you high and low. OK, what is this place? A bunker. No shit, Angela. <laughs> well, sort of. So it's not really a bunker? You guys seem to think you're in one, <laughs> so in that sense, it, it is. God, where are we? The afterlife? Purgatory? Not exactly. We're in the blank space between all different afterlives, and holy crap, is it big! Huh. It took me forever to find you two. But now that I'm here, how's about time we get you guys out? Yes, please! Is there a heaven? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, it's the most exciting place there is. Uh, but in order to get there, we need to leave. And in order to leave, you two need to remember exactly how you both died. Okay. Okay. Well, so, what happened? I got stabbed during a hike. <laughs> I probably ate myself to death. <laughs> Anything else? How do you die, Angela? Oh, well, here's a better question. You guys feeling parched? Well, that looks disgusting. Well, it's Kool-Aid. <laughs> Why don't you drink it then? Oh, come on. Oh, just one sip. <laughs> Well, duh. <laughs> it's poison. Come on, I hate allegory. <coughs> what the hell? Poison. A friend of mine poisoned my drink with bleach, Mark. That's pretty awful, don't you think? Jesus. Jesus. I Yep. Life's a cruel bitch. And it must have dealt you a nasty hand. But that's all in the past now. I guess. Still, my life was fine hey, and- Mark, were you alone in this suicide? Someone was with me. Oh, to talk you out of it. We were talking about hiking was and- Was it a double suicide? No, no, no. Maybe, uh, they were talking me out of it. Or, or was it the other way around? Maybe even a murder suicide. Heck if I know! Does it even matter? Well, <gasps> no. No, I guess it does. Guys, stop, I... Is everything okay? Don't worry, Mark. She's just remembering her death. Yeah, this is all completely normal. <coughs> Sophie? <coughs> I'll use the same knife, Mark. Well, I guess it's time it you to get poison. going. Uh, sorry? It wasn't. No one poisoned you, Angela. That's not what happened. <laughs> well, that's how I remember Let's it. Just take this back then, okay? No, no, Sophie, please. Because when I last Sophie, saw you, we don't have to. We were in that forest. Sophie, and I <laughs> saw your corpse. The fuck are you on about? We went hiking, Mark. The three of us, and and somehow I got separated, and I called out for you guys, but there was no answer. And then I saw her. Jesus, her chest was bleeding and her eyes were open, Mark. And then I saw this guy in a mask put a knife away and stare at her, and I ran, and I ran so far and so fast until I ran into you, Mark. You weren't wearing your jacket. It was just gone. What? God, Angela, why, why don't you remember? I do, Sophie! In fact, 
after that hike, you two went home to a normal afternoon and said that I went missing. Not dead, no. Missing. And that lie is gone, Sophie. Because you two silently and carefully slit your throats one week later. Why? Why would you do that? How come you fuckers got a burial while my body got sucked into the forest? Why can't you tell me? Angela? Angela, um, did I? Uh, well, uh, to be fair, I, I never got a good look at the guy who did. So it could be somebody else for all we know. But if it wasn't? Well then, God will forgive you, Mark. Trust me, they're very nice and loving and, and they're sweet. <laughs> Do I deserve an afterlife? Of course. I mean, the alternate is staying trapped here forever and that'll suck your souls dry. No one deserves that, Mark, not even you two. I, I could be innocent. Yes. Well then you'll love the afterlife. There's no violence or death or ambiguity, nothing. Everything we do there is pointless, and, and it's so liberating. So, how do we know? How, how do we know? How do we know that God exists? What if you take us up there and it's just fire? What if it's a hell our minds create? What if it's a blank space? What if you leave us there to suffer? Sophie, I'm not a demon. <laughs> You'd have every right to. No, Sophie, this won't change anything. You just poisoned us. Well, you've made your life decisions. Anything could be out there. Yes, but the only thing And I'm not going. underground bunker. No! No! <laughs> 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 